street fish in a barbecue joint right next to the highway. Let's see if there's any fish down here. Uh, as you can see, right there is the highway. And I drive over this creek every single day. And I've already got a massive tangle. And never thought anything about it. So I'm just using a little six foot ultralight, four pound fluorocarbon, and a trout magnet. And hey, we got us a fish. What do we got? What do we got? What does we got? Bluegill. So there is fish in this creek. You know, I might just do an uncut thing since I'm not going to be right here very long anyway. Got another one. Little common shiner. Get a picture real quick. Get it back. I'm basically blind casting because I can't see anything back there. Like I can see where my bait's going, but I can't see what's like. On the bottom like that stump that I'm stuck on. And snagged on and broke off on. So let's go get another trout magnet on real quick. And see if we can get another one real quick but yeah i've drove over this creek every day almost for the last going on 17 years and today we're fishing it for the first time together Don't come off, don't come off, little man. You came off, little man. Where'd you go, little man? I'm not reaching down in there. That was a good hit. I got you. Got another little bluegill. Something got a chunk out of you. You know, I'm going to have to do a separate video on tricks that you can do with trout magnets to help with your hookups, what you can do to help catch more fish with them, things like that. It'll be a quick one because there ain't a lot of them. All right. Let's make the trek to our other spot. And we're here. Oh, shoot. Missed one. Darn it. And I'm snagged. Again. Anyway, uh, that was a fun little stop just for a few minutes. I only caught a couple of bluegill in the creek chubs and I think the one shiner. Anyway, never pass up little side of the road creeks like that. If you have to question whether or not you're allowed to fish there, if there's somebody at a building or a house, just stop and ask. 
the worst they can say is no. But a lot of places like that, little businesses, that's a twice the ice place. Everybody stops there, get nice, stop in the barbecue joint, get something to eat, stop and fish. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video. I definitely had fun making it because, like I said, I've drove over that creek just about every day for the last 17 years and never once thought about fishing it. Really didn't even know about it till recently, even though I drove over it that much. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.